In this Tele-TV tutorial, I'll show you how you can make incredible screen recording videos. So if you are an entrepreneur, content creator, or freelancer, this is a must-have tool. This tool also offers a 7-day free trial, where you can try it out and decide whether it suits you or not. Also, if you use the link given in the description to create an account, you'll get 30% off on all the pricing plans. So make sure you use my link in the description to create your free account. After you are here on the official website of Tela, just click on Sign Up to create your account. Enter your details, and you'll be good to go. After you log in, this will be your dashboard. There are three methods by which you can record your screen with the help of Tela. The first one is using the web app, which I'll be showing today. The second one is by using the Chrome extension, where you can add their extension from the web store or by just clicking here. The third method is by downloading their app for macOS. Now to start recording your screen, just click on record video in the top right corner. As you can see here, you have four options, quick, multi, select, and upload. If you want to record a single take video quickly, you can just click on quick. If you want to record multiple clips, you can select multi. If you want to select a particular clip that you have already recorded, you can click on select and record for that clip. The last option is upload, where you can simply upload videos that are already recorded and customize them according to your needs. Most of the time, you'll be either using quick or multi. For now, I'm selecting multi. To unmute your mic and record your voice, just click on this option. Now it will ask for your permission to use the microphone. You can just click on allow, and by clicking on this option, you'll be able to select different microphones that are connected to your PC. You can select any of these. For now, I'm selecting the third one. Next, we have the camera option, where you can just click on this icon, allow permission to access the camera for your browser, and your camera will start. You can also select from different cameras connected to your device using this option, as we did for the mic. For now, I'll be selecting the OBS virtual camera. Then we have the more option. Suppose you want to present particular slides. You can just click on the slides option and you can upload the slide from your desktop or import it from Google Drive as well, allowing you to present your slides easily while recording your face. I'll just click close for now. You also have the Show Speaker Notes option, where you can enter notes or the script you want to speak while recording your video, and it will appear here. For now, I'm also turning this off. I'll click on Hide Speaker Notes, and this will make it disappear. The last option we have is Share Screen. Just click on it, and it will ask you to select a particular screen. You can select the entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. For this tutorial, I'll be sharing a Chrome tab where I have opened a presentation. You just need to select your Chrome tab, click on Share, and it will take you to the screen. You can also select Slideshow, which will start presenting your screen in slideshow mode. As I move back to the recording, you can see it has displayed our presentation perfectly. To start recording our screen, just click on this red icon, and a timer will start, after which our recording will begin. As you can see, our recording has started, and the presentation appears to be perfect. Once you are done with your recording and presentation, you can just click on this icon to stop the recording. Now as you can see, our first clip has been recorded. Similarly, you can click on the recording icon to record your second clip. It has begun recording our second clip. After you are done with the recording, just click on the stop button and the second clip will get saved. In this manner, you can record multiple clips, which you can edit later. Now to edit these clips, just click on one of the clips that you want to edit, and it will take you to the customization options. As you can see, we have multiple options to customize our video. The first option we have is the trim feature, which is used to cut certain parts of the video that you don't need. You just need to drag this arrow and click on split to cut a certain part. As you can see, the starting part has been cut from our video. If you want to separate these clips into multiple other clips, it can be done easily from here. I've separated it into two clips, and if I want to clip it further, I'll just drag it forward and click on Split. As you can see, our video has been divided into three parts. To delete this middle part, I just have to click on Delete, and the middle part will get deleted. 
Similarly, you can remove mistakes from your video in this manner. On the right side, you also have some AI features where you can remove buffers and silent parts of your video. In the silence section, you can select whether you want it to be natural, fast, or faster. You can also remove filler words, and there's an option to edit the entire transcript of your video. Now coming to the zoom option, this is one of the most interesting features and my favorite. As you know, whenever you edit a video, zooming into a particular part where you want to focus can be a very tedious task. To make it easier, you can just click on zoom and then click on add zoom. There are two options. You can either add zooms manually or automatically, but the automatic zoom is available only for the Mac app, so we'll have to add it manually on the web app. As you can see, there's a red dot here. You just need to take the red dot to the particular place where you want the zoom, and you can also select the scale of your zoom by dragging this option. Our scale is set to 203% now. If I play this video, you can see it has zoomed to a particular part. If you want to reduce this zoom after a particular time, just drag this back, and you'll see it zooms into a particular part and returns to its original position once the zoomed part is finished. Similarly, you can add zoom to other parts of your videos. Now coming to the layout section. Tele records our screen and webcam separately, so you can make changes to your layout very easily from this option. There are multiple layout options available here. You can select whichever feels best for your recording. You also have the portrait option where you can convert your video into a 916 format. There is also a square option. And if you want only your screen or only your webcam to be visible, those options are also available. If you need to adjust your camera frame because you're not centered, just click on camera frame and adjust it accordingly as it records the entire webcam. To apply these settings to all clips, you can just click on Apply to Match in Clips. Let me bring it back to one of the layouts. The next option we have is Background. Here there are multiple backgrounds, from Animated to the Image to Solid Color options. You can select any of these, or if you have your brand background, you can upload it here and set it as your background easily. That covers Backgrounds. Now coming to the Border option. You can select your border to be curved or sharp. You can also add a shadow and give a cartoon style effect to your recording, which looks very cool. Next, we have the subtitles option, where you can select the style of your subtitles. There are multiple options available, and if you want to further customize them, just click on this option. You can choose whether you want your subtitles to be small, medium, or large, and you can also adjust the position of your subtitles here. You can select the background color of your subtitles and the text color as well. Now on to mirror. If you want to mirror your screen recording, just click on Mirror, and you'll see your webcam change accordingly. Next, we have the Crop option. If you want to crop a particular part from your recording, it can be easily done with this option, allowing you to remove unwanted parts from your video. You can also adjust the size of your screen and webcam directly from this view. Lastly, we have the Redo option. If you want to record the entire clip again, just click on Redo and it will replace the original clip. These are all the customization features available for our recording. Similarly, you can select the second clip and apply all these customizations to it as well. After you're done with all the customization, you can download the video by clicking on the download option. You could also download the subtitle file of your video in SRT format easily from here. If you want to download your video in 4K, you will need a premium account. You can also export your video at 60 FPS. If you want your clips to be downloaded as a single video, you can keep this option off. But if you want to download individual files, you can keep this option on. If you want your subtitles embedded in your video, keep this option on. Otherwise, if you prefer them separately, you can download the SRT file and turn this option off. Click on Start Export to begin rendering your video. And after the rendering process is complete, you can easily download it to your PC. Finally, coming to the share option. Here, you can copy the link of your recording and share it with your team. You can also send it by email or add a GIF, embed it into your website, or index your video for search engines to find it. Although, usually, this option is kept off. If you have created a playlist, you can add this video to a specific playlist. That was all about sharing. If you want to upgrade to the paid plan, just click on Telepro Trial, 
where you'll find the option to upgrade now. Moving on to the pricing plan, as you can see, they offer two plans, Pro and Premium. Normally, the Pro monthly plan costs $19 per month, and Premium costs $49 per month. However, if you use my link in the description to create your free account, you'll get a 30% discount on each plan. The $19 per month will become $13 per month, and the $49 per month will become $34 per month. You can see all the features each plan offers, such as unlimited videos, unlimited recording duration, instant sharing, 4K export, 60 FPS export, up to 5 minutes, and watermark-free downloads. You can select either of these two plans and click on Upgrade, which will take you to a Stripe checkout page. On the right side, you'll see that a 30% discount has been applied, reducing the original cost of $588 to $411. You can fill in your details on the right side to complete the payment procedure. That was all about TeleTV. If you want to learn about an AI tool that helps you generate short form content with a single prompt, you can click on the video appearing on your screen. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.